Okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Brayden. Um, today I'm talking about uh, shimming OpenSSL out of necessity. I'm doing something that I've actually never done before, which is giving a talk about my job, um, or at least tangentially related to my job. So, um, great. So this is a talk that was requested by Damien Bull, who is actually going right after me. Um, and it may not be advisable to do what I'm showing. I take no responsibility for this. Um, it is a fun trick. It is a cool trick. Damien likes it, and he convinced me to do this. So, OpenSSL. Who here has heard of OpenSSL? Great. Who here has heard of TLS? Who here has used TLS? Actually, better question. Who here has not used TLS? Hands up. OK, anyone who says hands up, you're wrong. Because it's a cryptographic protocol for secure communication that is used in email, instant messaging, VOIP, and HTTPS. Has anyone not used any of these things? Um, I, I don't think so. The S in HTTPS, I, think it, I believe it stands for secure, um, and it is always using TLS, as far as I'm aware. Um, TLS 1.2 from 2008, TLS 1.3 from 2018, these are still supported. Uh, all versions. All older versions are no longer supported. So if you're using anything earlier than that, you probably shouldn't be doing that. But this is actually about OpenSSL specifically, which is the C implementation of SSL and TLS, um, or it's a C implementation of SSL and TLS. It is quite ubiquitous. Uh, there are many people that are using unsupported old versions. Newer versions should be source compatible with older versions, but I'm going to demonstrate a problem where that's not the case. Um, there are a lot of vulnerabilities in OpenSSL. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to connect to the internet, so here's what should be an iframe uh, with the angle brackets escaped, so that you can go to this link later if you want to, and you can look at the vulnerabilities in OpenSSL, um, and they are versioned. So in the newest version, Version, it is very minimal. In older versions, there are quite a lot of them. Uh, if anyone here has heard of Heartbleed, that's an issue with OpenSSL, I believe, 1.0.1. Um, go to this link, read up all about why you need to upgrade your OpenSSL. Uh, does anyone use OpenSSL 1.0.2 still that you know of? Does anyone use an older version than this? OK, so um, here's a list of all their vulnerabilities. It is a very long thing. The scroll bar is really, really tiny. Um, this was out of support uh, a long time ago at this point, so five and a half years. Um, it's read on Wikipedia, which typically means you shouldn't use it. Um, OpenSSL 1.1.1, also a lot of vulnerabilities uh, out of support um, a year and a half, two years ago. Uh, anyone use this version? OK. So uh, also read on Wikipedia. So um, for the sake of security, update your OpenSSL. Yeah, can't always do that. So I'm going to demonstrate a problem. The problem is that I'm linking against a third-party library, and I have no access to their source code. The library was built to link against OpenSSL 1.1.1 dynamically, of course, as you do. And we have OpenSSL 3.x on our machines, 3. Point something. Um, we can't downgrade our OpenSSL for this one case. That would be obviously a really bad idea. Um, and we have this undefined reference to SSL library in it. This is a function that is in OpenSSL that is no longer in OpenSSL, except, well, OK, SSL library in it, you can look at the, uh, at the man page for it, and it still exists in the master branch. Um, probably shouldn't be called master branch. Um, this says uh, the SSL library init and OpenSSL add whatever functions were deprecated by OpenSSL 1.1.0 uh, by OpenSSL init SSL. And it's actually a macro now. So SSL library init, it's now a macro. The problem is macros are not symbols in the compiled binary. It's only preprocessor. And so the third party binary looks for this name as a function name in the OpenSSL dynamic library, but it doesn't find it. There's also other functions shown here, or not shown here. And then in our OpenSSL 3.x, these symbols don't exist, even though the macro does. So there's a linker error. The solution is provide a definition for the symbol as a macro function. Well, uh, here's the setup. In CMake, I'm just really going to create the simplest possible thing. It's just a library with a single uh, source file, and then I'm just going to link it against what I need to link it against. So as simple as can be, I'll make this shims thing. Um, and as a macro, you know, I'll just, uh, if it's not defined, then I'll define it. And that's great, right? Well, no, because we need to actually have the symbol in the library. So as a function, well, if it is defined, then undefine it, and then make the function. Now it'll be in the binary. So we're just creating a shim. It just kind of works. So, so the solution, we must provide the symbol as a function. We have to repeat for all the affected functions. And in conclusion, the binary compiled with OpenSSL pre 1.1.0 can be used with OpenSSL 3.x. We only need a few shims. Is this advisable? Eh. But it works for now. Thanks so much. So